Welcome to this fossil preparation series. This series will show you how I'll uncover the complete skeleton of an ancient animal called an oridont. You'll see how it was found, the different techniques that I used to extract it, fascinating time lapses of this discovery, and mistakes that I will make during the way. So, if you are interested in what it takes to clean a full fossil skeleton, then keep on watching. Two years ago, I found a skeleton with just its head and hips sticking out. It was and still is one of my best finds ever. When I brought it home, I knew I had to show this to the world. So I started this YouTube channel, learned filming and editing, all to show the process of this skeleton being freed out of its stony tomb. After two years, I'm finally ready to unearth the skeleton that has been hidden away in storage buried under a pile of boxes. And now it's finally time to start the preparation of Oliver the Oriole. Alright guys, I was doing pretty good with my preparation, but then I ran into a problem. Because there's water coming through my air scrape that is not supposed to happen. My Oridont is getting wet. Come on! And I've gotten this far right now, as you maybe have seen in the video as well. But uh, yeah, there's getting water out of it. I've checked the filter as well. This seems dry, uh, the rest of it does seem a bit wet. This has been an older filter that didn't work for me either. It's, it's the same one, but I'm not sure why it doesn't. We'll see, we'll try and figure this out, but this is the progress of, well, at least one full day and we'll check in for the next day when I finally fix this problem. It isn't supposed to get any water through it. So yeah, I'll try to fix it. Check in on you guys later. 